Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome into your reading, your weekly reading, that is, for the first week of December. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. What you got for my Saggies the first week of December? All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. Um, we're into your season. Happy birthday, Saggies. All right, let's see what's going on. Also, Venus retrograde the 19th of December. It's going to reevaluate all your relationships and it's going to test your relationships. And I don't mean just your love ships, guys. I'm also talking about your colleagues, your, you know, your friends, your family, all of the above. Thank you. All right. So, yeah, and that's going to stay right through your season, right all through Capricorn season. It goes direct at the end of um, January, January 29th. But you're going to start feeling the effects from now, guys. So there's a heads up for you. Let's see. Let's see. There's also going to be an extended for this uh, reading. And that's going to be under memberships, which are fairly inexpensive to begin with. Um, go over to the community page. The community page will show you exactly what videos are there. And yeah, you can leave me comments there as well. So the overall theme for the first week of December for Sagittarius is the Two of Cups. Wow, that's amazing. Under this is the Six of Cups. The Five of Chalices. Oh my God, the Five of Swords. You guys are, are really going through a very, very uh, big period of change here. The King of Wands, which is you. The Three of Swords. And the Knight of Chalices. Okay, so it looks like in the recent past, and if this hasn't happened to you guys, this is going to happen very soon. There's a King of Swords down here where there it's uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I also have Fire Sign. I also have Cancer um, and Gemini. Here you are with lovers, right? So there was a lover in the recent past. You might have collaborated with each other. You might have worked together. Maybe you met each other at work. I don't know. But you kind of kept to yourself. You kept working on yourself and you kept working on your craft and you were just doing your own thing. And then all of a sudden, boom, these little messages start going back and forth. It started as a little bit of flirtation or you felt very flirty, whatever. And then it started to go into something else. Without really realizing, Sagittarius, you caught feelings for this person. So, but there was some kind of level of immaturity in this, this connection with this lover here. Some immature vibe I'm getting here. And it turned out to either somebody here is nursing some kind of pain like profound pain, emotional pain. Either this is you or them. Most of all, I think it's you guys with this King of Wands here um, because you are going through these changes. So you might have also met a lover um, even though you were going through some period of changes in pain and maybe you kept it at an immature level or you kept it like light and fluffy, something like that. But there's nothing light and fluffy about lovers. Five of Swords, knowing that you need to cut some kind of energy out. Five of Swords. Five of Chalices, Five of Cups. Reminiscing over the past. So do you need to cut out a person? Do you need to cut out an energy? Do you need to cut out an, uh, uh, an emotion? I don't know. Six of Cups, at least now we're moving past the fives and going, getting over the hump. But the Six of Cups talks about somebody from your past. And now we have the Two of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here. This is feeling like a soulmate. This is you both feeling the same way about each other. So it's possible that while you've been going through changes and nursing a period of change and nursing some kind of pain, Sagittarius, a new lover might have came towards you. Um, and without realizing, maybe you've caught feelings for the new vibe. And now you're getting together. Let's see. Others of you, this could be somebody from your past. Um, in your situation, I have the Ten of Wands, Burdens. The Two of Wands needing to make a choice because of the burdens. And then the Ten of Pentacles. There's money on your home, also marriage. So somebody here possibly could be wanting to get married and you find that to be a burden. And now you have to make a decision. Others of you, this is somebody maybe you were married to. And it's become a burden and now you're debating whether you should leave it. Leave the situation altogether plays out differently for all of you. We're going to clarify that in a moment and we're going to see what this situation is all about for your first week of December. What's coming towards you is the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles. Singlehood. 
and you re retreating, you're retreating, you're taking a time out to yourself. You want to be independent for a moment because you're trying to reflect with this hermit card. You're trying to use your internal illumination from all the lessons that you've learned from the situation. You're trying to methodically approach it in your mind. Well, what have I learned from this? So you're taking a time out and you're trying to be independent here with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, what you don't see coming is the Three of Cups. That's a reconciliation or a third party situation. I don't know yet. I'm gonna clarify, I'm gonna see. But that's also dating, celebrating, good news. Uh, Queen of Chalices, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is reconciliating with someone that you have feelings for, deep feelings for, love. And it could be vice versa. So maybe you took a time out from somebody, here's what it looks like. Sagis. And now you might be reconnecting. Maybe you had a false start with somebody and now you're going back to that person. Uh, it's possible. Uh, in your advice, take a motherfucking leap of faith and do it. Be like an Aries with the full card and go. Jump. Jump into the unknown. The wheel is here. This is good luck. Luck is on your side. Have faith that luck is here behind you. And look who your planet is, Jupiter. Seriously, guys, luck is definitely here. Your fates are saying, take a leap of faith into the unknown. Big changes are coming your way. Go with the flow. Do it. Outcome. You got all the tens. You guys are definitely going from fives changes to tens. You're about to start some kind of new cycle, uh, Sagis. The ten of chalices, which is the ten of cups. Feeling emotional fulfillment with you and someone else here. The moon. A little bit of fear of the unknown. Some some things that are hidden from you. And the emperor. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody either far older than you. This person could have kids. You might have kids with them. This could also be another Aries. Because I have emperor here. This person is big time. They have power. They have control. The moon. And that's probably what these hidden things are there's something being hidden from you like i think the status of this person might be hidden from you i really don't know but there's wish fulfillment here for the both of you wish fulfillment ten of cups both both sides here's the emperor aries doesn't have to be someone older businessman uh and the moon some things that are cancer card that came out twice so now i see cancer twice so let's go ahead and start clarifying for you guys and see what's going on here. Universe Angel Spirit Guides, what is this Two of Wands? Ten of Pentacles and... Wow. Yeah, it looks like in the past, you, you are trying to get over some kind of, from your recent past, it looks like you're trying to get over something from your past, somebody that you loved. And you are. Because the Five of Cups is in reverse. You're now starting to turn around and look at your blessings. It's like you're you're taking on this energy, Sagittarius, that you now are going and moving forward into the new direction of your life. You are letting go of something from your past, whatever that is. Because the Two of Wands always depicts a wand from the past and a wand from the future. And it looks like you're, if you look at this picture well, she's leaning towards the future wand. Like you see her hand right there? the future wand she's moving on she's moving ahead yeah that remember i told you like an immature energy when i say immature i mean fresh newish ish being the underlined word but you're in hermit mode you're in this like timeout zone let's see what this nine of pentacles and the hermit is that's coming towards you you just might want to, you know, test the waters. Start out small, you know, no, nothing heavy. Sagis. And I feel like that's the energy you're going with. Oh, come on. You might have emotionally detached from a lover. And from your recent past. And I don't know if that's so you can collect your thoughts or to be single or what have you. Um, the interesting thing is, but it, there's like some kind of unfinished business here with the Ten of Swords in reverse. And you might be walking back this situation that you had with a lover that you turned away. And this could be vice versa. So in, you, somebody is walking back to a lover here. 
uh, with some unfinished business in regards to this why you're single. And you could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But there was something about this person that was making you feel like there was burdens, like heavy burdens, because she's the mom card. She's the nurturer. She's the lover. She's the giver. She's also stability. So if somebody was trying to, like, say you're an airplane, Sagittarius, and nine times out of ten you are an airplane, someone from ground control is calling you and telling you you're grounded. You're like, what? <laughs> okay, if I'm grounded, no one's allowed in my plane. Give me some time to think. Because you want to be out flying in the sky. There's a new person here. And I don't know right now yet if this new person is uh, laying it on thick or is going, you know, from A to Z f into heavy into the relationship. And you don't. You want to take your time. You want to think about this. But there's somebody new here. Yeah, it could be a water sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But she has, wow, could be also a fire sign like yourself. She's somebody very loving and nurturing, but also very passionate. She's got some serious vices, very obsessed with you. Possible sexual addiction. Justice is here too, Libra. Hmm. Got some complicated shit going on, Sagis. What is this Three of Cups with the Queen of Cups? There's possible reconciliation or you are dating this person. So if you had a false start, you might be going back and revisiting this. Others of you just flat out having a reconciliation. Okay, so the hangman came out sideways. For me, sometimes this means you feel stuck, but not exactly. It's being challenged. So another card of challenges is this five of wands. Obstacles, blocks, competition, uh, wheel of fortune. Somebody might be even competing for your attention here. And that's what it feels like. This is lucky. This is big changes coming towards you. Sagis. Could be an also an air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow, two of cups is under that. You might have great conversations with this person. I don't know why I said that. It's just how I feel. But yep, what you don't see coming is a reconciliation. There's going to be some arguments, some blocks, which is fine because it's like healthy fighting. It's competing, competing for attention here. And uh, it's needing for you to see something from a different perspective. This is why the hangman came out sideways to me. It's challenging you. It's forcing you to come out from being stuck. So in your advice, you have the fool, which is taking a leap of faith, the wheel, go with the flow. What is the fool in the wheel here? You're resisting this change and they're saying don't. A lot of you, it could be another fire sign or this is you, the king of wands at the bottom of the deck, the seven of wands. You're resisting it. You're being very defensive. Look at this. You're meeting your counter half and I don't think you know it yet. Here's what's crazy. This person really loves you and there's potential for you to really love them. Like you could be a really great match made in heaven. Look at this, the king and queen of wands. This is you, this is matching energies. This is your counter half. And under that is the queen of cups, which represents love. And under that is the ace of wands. And under that is the ace of uh, cups. And under that is strength, Leo. Jesus Christ, guys, you have two aces here. Ace of cups and ace of wands. First of all, this is this is uh, fire sign's love language, passionate. And this is also water sign, and then Leo having the strength to go towards this. This is phenomenal. So the universe is saying that they're bringing in some big new changes for you. Go with the flow. Jesus, I'd love to be a Sagittarius right about now. <laughs> ah, what's the moon? And the outcome besides the emperor. And the Ten of Cups. There's somebody here you can potentially have a lot of happiness with. Both of you. This person could be an Aries, could be a Leo. I see everything here. There's new love here. There's new love here. A Queen of Cups, love. Ace of Cups, love. Brand new love is here. 
you don't see it. You don't see it coming. You don't see anything about it. You're because there's a lack of communication and feelings. Possibly it just seems kind of like too airy for you, you know, like too cerebral, too logical, too rational, but it's not. I think it's because this person is worried to come towards you or to say or open their mouth to communicate with you. But it's saying take a leap of faith towards this person. They could be your counter half. All right. In the, I'm going to pull some romance angels and see what they have to say here. Wow. Wedding. Some of you are dealing with a marriage, getting out of a marriage. Your person could be coming out of a marriage. Wedding is involved here. This could be the one. You know, in your situation over here with the Ten of Pentacles, I felt like somebody was trying to push you towards marriage. Chemistry. Oh, yeah, you do. You want to see what's at the bottom of the deck? It's going to blow your mind, Sagis. Sorry for that glare. Release your ex. Healing financial issues, but that's in the reverse. So that tells me you've already done that. All right, so in the extended, guys, actually, let me pull out one more card from Moonology for everybody, sorry. But in the extended, I'm going to clarify the Romance Angels with Tarot. This could be the one and wedding. I'm going to clarify that with the Tarot deck. I'm also going to ask about this new energy, this person, their intentions towards you, how they feel about you, potential long-term outcome, okay? Because we only do weeklies, and the outcomes are only for a week. And that will be in the members. Advice for statues, please. Advice for statues, please. You're very close to achieving your goals, and the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. But the answers are coming, guys. You're no longer going to have to wait. Very soon, your answers will be coming towards you. Uh, adjustments are required. It's at the bottom of the deck. All right, guys, I uh, will see you over members in the extended. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys next week. Bye, Sagi.